Hello everyone. Welcome. We are going to learn about GraphQL API. I will show you how you can build your own GraphQL API by using Node.js and PHP or some other languages. GraphQL is a query language for APIs and a runtime for fulfilling those queries with your existing data. GraphQL provides a complete and understandable description of data in your API, gives clients more power to ask for exactly what they need and nothing more. If you don't understand what this description means, don't worry. From the next slide, we are going to go deep into this description. Okay? Little bit you need to know about GraphQL history. GraphQL was developed by Facebook, which first began using it for mobile application in 2012. The GraphQL uh, specification was open sourced in 2015. It is now overseen by GraphQL Foundation. Okay, now let's take a look at GraphQL website that is graphql.org. Here is a simple example describe your data. This is your data from server. The data type is project. Inside project you will have three property name, tagline and contributors. And from this client that means client side, react or view whichever client you are using, you you will you can ask anything for example you can ask only for this tagline this that won't give you name or contributors it will save some time and make your request faster okay now this is your predictable result as you see here you see a example they are asking for data hero hero name and height it is giving the exactly what this is asking Okay, get some, get many resources in single requests. In REST API, you have to make multiple requests. But in here, you have to make only one request and you can get all the data. Describe what is possible with the system. You see, those are the types here on the right and you have, you have the possible description or possible query in your left okay we'll get into it when we when we'll make some project with graphql and when you use graphql you'll get a tool called graphical i'll show you how to use graphical and by using that graphical this is quite similar to postman but by default you can get this graphical and you can fetch or add any kind of thing you can do any kind of thing using this graphical okay these are the some top companies that are using graphql at the moment i am recording this video let's take a look at some of the advantages of graphql a graphql schema set a single sources of truth in graphql application it offers an organization a way to Federate its entire API. GraphQL calls are handled in single route trip as I said earlier. Client get what they request with no overfetching. Strongly defined data types reduce miscommunication between the server and client. GraphQL is introspective. A client can request a single uh, Client can request a list of data types available. This is ideal for auto generating documentation. GraphQL allows an application API to involve without breaking existing queries. Many open source GraphQL extensions are available to offer features not available with REST API. GraphQL does not dictate a specific application architecture. It can be introduced on top of an existing REST API 
and can work with existing API management tools. Disadvantages GraphQL presents a learning curve for developers familiar with REST APIs. GraphQL shipped much of the work of a data query to the server site which adds complexity for the server developers. Developing on how it is implemented, GraphQL might require different API management strategy than REST APIs. Particularly when considering rate limits and pricing. Caching is more complex than REST API. API maintainers have the additional task of writing maintainable GraphQL schema. There are some of the packages you can use with GraphQL that make easier to, to fetch data. That is adoption to GraphQL. Apollo, a GraphQL platform that includes a content client library, Apollo client and backend server framework, Apollo server. Offix, an offline client that allow GraphQL mutation and queries to execute even when an application is unreachable. Don't worry if you don't know about Queries and mutations, I will show you in the practical tutorial. Grabback, a command line client for gathering GraphQL enabled Node.js server. Open API to GraphQL, a command line interface and library for uh, translating APIs described by Open API specification or Swagger into GraphQL. That's all about GraphQL you need to know. Okay, next we'll, we'll implement this GraphQL in our project and we'll see how this works in practical. Thank you for watching, stay tuned.